Hey, welcome back once again to Money Talk. Let's expose today another common myth of kingdom uh, prosperity. And here's another myth. The myth is that heaven will have great abundance, but we should not expect to receive any of that abundance while we're here on earth. Heaven will be a place of great abundance, but we should never expect to receive any of that heavenly abundance here on the earth. Well, I really think this is one of the root myths of so much traditional religious thinking about money and prosperity. I'm just looking forward to heaven. All I want to do is make heaven my home. You know, they used to sing the old choruses. Just build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. I'll have my riches up there. And while I'm here on this earth, I should never expect for God to bless me. Well, the first statement is, of course, there will be great abundance in heaven. (laughs) Walls are made of jasper, streets of gold, gates of pearl. What a great place of abundance. But here's the second question. Then why should we not expect to see some of that heavenly abundance here on the earth? You see, here's the point that so many people miss. Jesus, when he first started his ministry, after his temptation, after his baptism, his first message in Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, was from that time on, he preached, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now notice what Jesus said. The kingdom of heaven is not coming. The kingdom of heaven is not when you finally get there. The kingdom of heaven is not a million miles away. The kingdom of heaven is at hand at hand. We are ambassadors of the kingdom. It's already here on the earth. So in addition to being kingdom ambassadors on the earth right now, we are also to pray for the kingdom to be established on the earth right now. Jesus went on in the uh, disciples prayer in Matthew chapter 6 verse number 10 telling us to pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We're to pray for what's in heaven to come down to the earth. We pray that the heavenly culture will be manifested in the earthly environment. So listen, if we are to pray for heaven to come to earth, then shouldn't we expect the things that are in heaven now to also be manifested on the earth? We know there's no sickness in heaven. So we ask God to bring healing to the earth as a manifestation of the kingdom. We know there's no depression in heaven. So we ask God to bring hope to broken people on the earth so that the kingdomly environment can be manifested here. We also know, now listen, there's no poverty in heaven. So isn't it right to expect that the kingdom will come on the earth today and God's prosperity can break the chain of poverty and lack in our lives. So to to believe that all prosperity is just in heaven and we can't expect it on the earth is just simply not a biblical statement, not in the context of the teaching of the kingdom. So here's the myth buster. Listen to this. To not expect any manifestation of kingdom prosperity to come into your life today is to totally misunderstand all that Jesus taught about the kingdom. It's not just future. It's not for the sweet by and by. It's also for today. So God bless you as we continue to pursue kingdom prosperity. So here's a prayer. We're going to pray this prayer again today with me. I encourage you to just pray it right out loud. I'll try to pray it slowly so you can pray it with me. Dear God, thank you for the reality of your kingdom, which is on the earth today. I'm glad I'm a part of the kingdom. In fact, I am an ambassador of the kingdom. As an ambassador, I pray for the manifestation and the advancement of your kingdom on the earth today. Your kingdom includes many things, including provision and prosperity. Thank you again for all that I am learning. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.